Good morning, and welcome to Immaculate Conception Church. Please silence all cell phones and other mobile devices at this time. This morning, we celebrate Mass for the Thursday of the third week in Advent. And this Mass is being celebrated in memory of Shiva Prophet. Please stand. Son of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Dear boys and girls, brothers and sisters in Christ, it's great to see you all this morning. Uh, today we're here for our last school mass until the Christmas break. So the last time we'll be together to pray within this church as a school community uh, for about the next three months. Oh no, I'm sorry, for the next month or so. I'm sorry, maybe some of the teachers and others want a longer break, but it'll be uh, just a couple of weeks. Uh, but It'll be almost three weeks or almost a month before we actually get back together here. But it is great to be with you this morning. Great to see you and to pray with you. At the beginning of this Mass, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are friend of the poor. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you offer healing for the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Amen. Lord Jesus, you lead your people in the way of salvation. Lord, have mercy. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who willed that your word should take flesh in an ever-virgin womb, Look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May you be seated as our readers come forward for the liturgy of the word. Justice shall flourish in earth and fullness of peace forever. shall flower in his days and, and profound peace to the moon be no more. May he move from sea to sea and from the river to the end of the earth. May his name be blessed forever and from this to fun his name shall remain. In him shall all the towns of earth be blessed. 
Isaac, the father of Jacob, Jacob, the father of Judah and his brothers, Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron, the father of Ram, Ram, the father of Amminadab, Amminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon, the father of Salmon, Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph, Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah, Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh, the father of Amos. Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Sheltiel. Sheltiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abiud. Abiud became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Ahim. Ahim, the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathen. Mathen, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. You may be seated. All right, dear boys and girls, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, for our interactive homiletic experience this morning, I'd like you to repeat back all the names I just read. Who can do it? I can't really do it. Can you repeat some of them, though? What, what's some of the names that you heard? Jesse? Yes, Jesse was one of the names, you're right. Maybe we will get some more responses, yes. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, the Holy Family, we've got their statues just up front. They're kind of what all the names are building up to. Absolutely very good. Do you recognize or hear any of the other more unusual names? Yeah. David. David was in there as well. You've got it, yes? Yes, Jacob and Hakim. Actually, Jacob was mentioned twice. I don't know if you heard there, but Jacob 
uh, was mentioned from the Old Testament times, but then Jacob was the father of Joseph, who is the earthly father of Jesus, so Jacob would have been Jesus' grandpa. Kind of neat. On Mary's side, her parents, uh, we know from tradition, were uh, Joachim and Anne. So we know at least three of the names of the grandparents. Good, yes? Abraham was mentioned there right at the beginning. Was that what you were going to say? Yes, that's right. Not Abraham Lincoln, different Abraham, but yes, one of the forefathers of the faith. You got it. Uh, so, Mark, you got it. Yes, good. Are you thinking of Zadok or Zerubbabel? Yes, both of those were also on the list. You got it. Yes, so we've got all these different names. Did you remember one other? One more time. Ruth and Solomon, you got it, yes, very, very good. Solomon and Solomon were both mentioned in there, you got it. When I first read Solomon, I thought, oh, is that salmon? Oh no, that's, that's my favorite kind of fish, that's different, but yes, you're right. Solomon was mentioned there, as well as Solomon, so we had the different names. Now this reminds me, leads me to, um, you know, I know, especially within middle school, but I think probably in the lower grades as well, maybe I'll look to help from our middle schoolers here. Um, within the different areas of study, if you have something, a subject that ends in ology, it usually means the study of something. So, middle schoolers, maybe you can help us out here. Do you know what is geology? Anyone know what is geology, the study of? Yes. It is the study of rocks. Very good. You are correct. Now, what about something like biology? Yes. Study of the body, yes, it's included within the body, as well as just living creatures. Wonderful. Very good. Now, what about genealogy? This is the study of genies. Uh, I'm just kidding. No. Uh, we look at the word of uh, genie. Yes. Uh, genes is related to that idea of genes. You're right. Not just the genes you wear. That's Wrangler and Leviology. Yes. Uh-huh. Maps. Okay, so that's like geography. Yes, you're right. So that's looking at different territories. You've got it. Geography is very similar to the ology, if it ends in geography. Good point. But yes, so within one other comment, either about, yes, about genealogy. Family trees. Absolutely, yes. And that's why I was going through the different names as well. Thank you. Very good, Cadence. So for the idea of why we have all these different names for Jesus, Talking about those 14 generations from Abraham onwards, 1414, all these different names of some very interesting characters and folks. It's getting at this family tree, this family history. That's what a genealogy is. Any of you within your families ever look at genealogy? Very big into family history? You do? Very good. Do you know the names of your grandparents? You know them as grandma and grandpa, right? Yeah, and that's perfect. Very, very good. Um, some families will look back in the history to see, you know, what are the names of their grandparents or great grandparents or great great grandparents, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and they'll trace that back to different countries, trace it back through the centuries. Might even be able to find out different information about what those people did, all the different things in their life. That's what yes. Jacob, 
Jacob was famous from the Old Testament. You remember his story. He had that very famous coat that his dad had given him. It was made famous uh, years later by uh, Donnie as he was, uh, had his technicolor dream coat. That's a story for another day. Uh, but in the New Testament, though, again, uh, Jacob was also the grandpa to Jesus. So, again, our family history is important. So I encourage you, boys and girls, if you want to share something else about your own family or question or comment on this. Your grandma's grandma's name is Marge. Oh, that's a nice name. I like that. Thank you very much for that. All right, boys and girls, I'll let you share the names of your different grandparents uh, throughout the day if you happen to know them, either with your classmates or your teachers. But it's important for us to have that sense of family history of who we are, where we've come from, and then ultimately, though, we recognize as one family in Christ where it is we are going. And ultimately, we want to be reunited there with kind of the first people we heard about, with Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, with all of the holy men and women there in the heavenly kingdom. That's ultimately our goal and what we do here on earth. While we live with that joy of the Lord that is our strength. While we do those good things, while we live with goodness, mercy, truth, kindness, all those things, uh, why it is we use our mind to study, whether it's geology, or geography, or biology, or math, or all the other wonderful subjects that we learn here at ICS, we learn all those different things using those gifts that God has given to us so we can build up his kingdom and reach out to those who are in need. So one day each and every one of us would be gathered with all of our ancestors, all those members of our family tree. They're in the heavenly kingdom with our spiritual family to live with God forever and ever. Amen. Well, that was fantastic. I thought when talking about different family trees, we'd hear about pine trees and cedars and oaks and birch. But uh, those are different kinds of trees. Let's stand now at this time as we invite more of those who will read our prayers of the faithful our different intentions and petitions. We have the great confidence that God is our Heavenly Father. He loves each and every one of us as his beloved sons and daughters. And that's what makes us a family in Christ. And why does I say so often, brothers and sisters? Because indeed, spiritually, we are siblings in Christ. So now we offer these prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. Father James and Paul Queen, the church throughout the world, that they may be guided in wisdom by the Holy Spirit and be leaders of faith. We pray to the Lord. For our country's leaders, so they may be blessed with the strength to make the decisions that are best for all people. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for sending forth your beloved Son, Jesus, into the world, he who is our Savior. We ask that you would send forth your Holy Spirit to guide us and strengthen us as one family in Christ, to maintain that sense of unity, peace, and strength. We make all of our prayers to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to be seated for the offertory. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. So with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glories without end we acclaim. you to very gently put down those kneelers in front of you and to kneel at this time. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. When as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and 
whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing, but with favor and the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. Grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, and Berger, our Bishop, and his assistant with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope. We may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, him O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Once again, uh, please use those kneelers very gently in front of you to kneel 
Behold, the desire of all the nations will come, and the house of the Lord will be filled with glory. Let us stand and pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that a flame with your spirit may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Well, wonderful to pray with all of you this morning. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed rest of the day, a very Merry Christmas, a great break uh, from studies and teachers and staff a break from being here in school for a little bit. Um, I know you've all been working very, very hard. Um, had a chance yesterday to be with our kindergartners. They did a, a great job doing kind of a, a living nativity or Christmas story. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and I also saw a video of a Christmas concert uh, that was done virtually over in the auditorium. And you guys did a fantastic job with that. So thank you to all of you and to Dr. Ray for playing for that and for today. For our wonderful cantor doing a fantastic job singing this morning, and for our wonderful lectors and readers with the readings as well as the prayers of the faithful, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we look forward to praying with all of you very soon. Again, uh, as we've done in the past, we'll have a final blessing. Our friends from kindergarten and first grade and second grade will very uh, reverently make their way out, and then we'll have the distribution of communion and blessings for everybody else here. Uh, so thank you again for your patience and understanding in the new year may go back to any old way or a similar way of, of distributing communion, but at least for today, we'll do things as we have. Will the Lord be with you? May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go oh, in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.